Welcome to Theo Trade. This is Don Kaufman. October 21st, 2020. Minutes to go to the cash close here on this Wednesday afternoon with an absolute volatility slop fest going on in the broader marketplace. <laughs> the futures were up, but if you didn't like the weather, don't worry. They backed off quite considerably. Uh, this was stimulus on, stimulus off all throughout the course of today's trading session. Uh, I got to tell you, there were some pretty good intraday, again, intraday trading opportunities we're absolutely there in this session. We're doing about uh, oh, 1.5, probably close to 1.6 million contracts. We're tracking into the close here on the S&Ps, which ain't half bad for uh, for this kind of a slop fest of a marketplace. As I said, it was stimulus on, stimulus off. Probably the most important thing that I've really picked up out of uh, this week of trade, though, is a lot to do with expected move. And I'm just going to spend a couple of moments uh, explaining because the uh, the expected move, I think, gives us a pretty good probability of a uh, of a move and more specifically a, uh, a move to the downside as this week progresses. And, uh, well, I'm going to explain that to you right here, right now. So volatility futures are down ever so slightly today. The VIX is down ever so slightly. So why am I anticipating a bit of a move to the downside? You can see the Russell's off a little bit. And it has everything to do here with the SPX expected move. It's one of the first things that I am going to display to you. So if you look back at uh, at most weeks inside of the S&P, okay, in most weeks we actually tag the upper, okay, and or lower, for example, uh, edge of an expected move, which in fact we have not done as of yet uh, this this week. And uh, again, it's not okay. You know, uh, a foregone conclusion that we're actually going to tag the upper edge of the expected move or the lower edge of the expected move. Okay, but it has an extraordinarily high probability of doing so. So let me actually break this down for you guys for just a second. Okay, first and foremost, the place to start when we're discussing expected move is the overall expected move this week. Okay, what this basically means is what okay is the SPX expected to move? When I say expected, it's how the option market depicts risk, okay, from roughly Monday to Friday. From Monday to Friday, what's expected to move? And this week, we're looking for right around an $81 move. That's $81 move higher, $81 move lower. Now, that's again, this is the higher, this is the lower, this is the uh, the start point of the week. Now, as I was saying, if you look back at most of the recent weeks, we'll actually tag the upper, okay? Here's an upper edge of expected move. There we actually crack through the edge of the expected move. Here's the upper edge of the expected move the prior week, the lower edge of the expected move. The week before that, we missed it by a hair. The week before that, lower edge of the expected move, cracked it lower, higher, okay? There are weeks, however, that we will do absolutely nothing. This does not appear to be one of them. And when I started looking at the SPX, I'm like, wow, okay, the SPX is actually tracking to hit this lower edge of the expected move. And given the fact that we have still have, you know, Thursday, Friday left, a couple of big earnings announcements. In fact, uh, after the bell today, you're going to have the likes of Tesla, which could have a pretty broad impact on the NASDAQ, not so much the S&Ps. Obviously, it's not in the S&Ps. Nevertheless, where is okay that edge of the expected move? The answer is somewhere right around 3403. So we may very well test okay the 3400 level. But the point that I wanted to make, it's not just about the S&Ps. The S&Ps, okay, they're leaning a little bit lower. We must tag the lower. It doesn't work that way. Okay, if you take a look at the QQQ and we apply auto expected moves, auto expected moves in the QQQ, okay, we're also, we have not tag the upper end or lower edge of the expected move, which is also really unusual. So now you have two major index products that haven't actually tagged upper end or lower edge of the expected move. Pull up the IWM. Okay, the IWM is also leaning towards a little bit of the downside. Okay, and at this point in time, given the amount of like gamma risk out there, you would anticipate Okay, that these index products are actually going to make this move and are going to tag the lower edge of the expected move. I guess the question at this point, there's the closing bell. S&P sell off very, very mildly into the, uh, into the closing bell here. So the question everybody's going to ask is, well, which index product is going to be? Okay, well, the answer there lies, okay, 
you can obviously pick any index product you want. You can go after the SPX, you can go after the, you know, obviously the QQQ or the IWM. But at this point in time, I'm fairly confident and comfortable saying that it has a pretty good probability here of coming down specific, and we'll say to the SPX. Now, the SPX, the Spiders, the S&P E-minis are all pretty much one and the same in this particular circumstance. We have a pretty good probability, though, of, again, tagging right into this 3,400. How far away are we? We're just over. Over, okay, and, and again, this also matters at this point in time. Somebody's going to say, well, how far away are we from actually hitting the edge of the expected move there, which is around, let's call it 3,400. Well, the marketplace closed today right at about uh, 3,435. So we're just over, okay, about a $30 expected move. You actually cruise over to the SPX and you look between like now, again, now and uh, Friday's expiration, okay? And this is one that you should pay very, very careful attention to. Yeah, take a look right there. We still have people, almost $50 of movement packed in. Again, packed in hmm, Thursday, Friday, and uh, therein lies a little bit of a rub. Not only are we priced to move down here to the edge, we're actually priced to possibly pop outside of it. And you know what? When you're looking when you're looking at trade and you're looking like volatility and so forth, well, volatility is down and that's kind of bullish. And, you know, uh, but the, uh, but the you know, the what? The NASDAQ, right? The monsters of tech are actually rather strong today. And that's, that's also bullish. This isn't about bullish or bearish. This is simply about probabilities. Okay? And when you start to look at probabilities, there is an incredibly high probability on a week-to-week -week basis that we do tag the expected move. Okay, And in many of the recent weeks, we've actually, for instance, migrated higher. We've hit the upper edge of the expected move. Okay, When trade has actually migrated lower, we've actually tagged the lower edge of the expected move. Okay, And we continue to actually believe specifically in that. So this is pretty, uh, pretty straightforward here for this Wednesday uh, afternoon video. Again, we're heading a little bit lower. We have anticipation that we're probably going to test into 3,400, okay? And I think you have to actually push aside any of the news, okay? The stimulus is on, the stimulus is off, okay? I am done listening to the outside noise. And at this point in trade, for the next two days, I'm actually looking towards the lower edge of that expected move. Thanks, everybody, for joining us here at Theo Trade. Have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.